Hi guys, welcome to Linuxi YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with HA proxy in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is HA proxy and its use cases. So HA proxy stands for high availability proxy. It is free and open source load balancer tool, which allow to balance the incoming traffic TCP and HTTP based by distributing across the backend server using different criteria. So HA proxy is used by the number of high profile websites like uh, including GoDaddy, Gitbucket, GitHub, Bitbucket, Stack Overflow, Speedtest.net, Twitter and many more. It's used in the Opsworks product from Amazon Web Services. So in this demo we will get through the HA proxy installation and configuration on a line machine and we will install the HA proxy on a single server and then install Apache Web Server on the other servers or you can say nodes. So HA proxy will act as a load balancer for those web server. So let's jump to the installation and configuration steps and see how HA proxy is very, very important for uh, Linux admin on rel 9, right? So here I have a three uh, nodes on my VMware workstation. So this is rel 9 server, this is rel 9 client, and there is one more DevOps server, right? So these are our total three VMs in my machine. And this is the current is Linux terminal. Let me show you the OS release version of this machine. So let me clear this one. Command is host name CTL. So currently you can see that I am in master. This is my master machine and currently I'm using rel 9.0. So, and if I go with the IP address of that machine, the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.1. So I will treat this machine acting as a HA proxy server, right? Now, similarly, let's, let's check the IP address of the same other two machines, whatever the network setting is here. So login and root. So if I go with the host name, host name is IPAS web server hyphen zero one and the IP address is 192.168.0.2. Similarly, I'll go on the another machine. The host name is web server hyphen zero two and IP address is 192.168.0.3. Perfect. Our ping reachability should be there and YAM repository should be pre-configured. So I'm back on my first machine. Let's make this node as a HA proxy node. So we will start with the first step, which uh, which is install and configure HA proxy on the master node, right? So HA proxy package is available in default package repository of RHEL 9. So it can be easily installed with DNF command and utility, but it is recommended update your system before installing HA proxy. So let's execute a command to install the. Let me update it first. Yum, update. Okay. Nothing to do, it's already updated. So let me go with the yum install HA proxy. <coughs> Done. Once the HA proxy is installed successfully, we can configure it by editing its configuration file, which is available under the slash etc HA proxy slash etc HA proxy HA proxy dot CFG file. So this is the main configuration file of this. HA proxy configuration, right? So let me uh, modify few entry here. So what I will do, I'm going to the bottom of the file and let me make my own entry here. I will not going to modify anything. So now I need to put up entry here. So let me copy the entry from my notepad file and paste it here at the bottom of this file and I will explain each and every term over there. So let me copy and paste it here. <coughs> so now you can see that, let me set, set the loud number and let me save it also perfect so now uh, here in this configuration file we will modify two sections front end and back end section so this is the you can see that this is the front end section and this is the back end section right and we define the HA proxy under under the front end section we will define the HA proxy IP this is the IP address of my HA proxy server 192.0.1 on port number is 900 right and uh, back end name is default back end name is web server so now under the backend web server, I'm using the web server as a name and uh, we define the type of load balancer algorithm. So currently I'm using the round ribbon, right? We will use like round ribbon and backend server name and IP and ports. So here we have set up a HA proxy load balancer named HTTP hyphen load balancer and uh, running and, and running on the port and network uh, 9000 on TCP, right? Our HTTP load balancer will perform round ribbon load balancing 
between two web server that is web server hyphen zero one and web server hyphen zero two with the corresponding IP address one ninety two one sky zero two as well as zero dot three. For states we have the username demo and the password is demo at the rate one two three, right? So this will be used where we go with the logging section and we generate the logs, right? So round robin is the most simple balance algorithm for each new connection. It will be handled by the backend next backend server. If the last backend server in the list is reached, it will start again from the top of the backend list. So here we have used Apache Web Server on the different machine. Even you can go for the virtual machine host also, virtual hosting also. Choice up to you. Make sure you have completed web configuration correctly. There, thereafter, we will need to start and enable the services. So let me save and quit from there, and let me start system CTL, enable HA proxy hyphen hyphen now. Okay, now we can see that services successfully up and running condition. Status, see it is active and running, and it's enabled also. Perfect. Now what? <clears throat> now we need to move to the next step which is install Apache server and start its services on the both node. So I'll take SSS session from my master and start to the configure HTTPD on different uh, on different different nodes, right? So let's start with the first of all SSH web server hyphen zero one. Let me log in this one. Okay, I'm just successfully logged in. Let me try to install the package first. Yum install HTTPD hyphen Y. Okay, now system CTL, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> enable HTTPD hyphen hyphen now and let me make a web page where www.html here index.html hi. Let me write down something here. Hi, this is web server hyphen zero one web page. Okay save and quit now follow the uh, same steps on web server 2 login yum install httpd okay uh, hopefully yum is not working here let me check the repository etc yum .repos d Okay, I need to remove the older one. Give me one second, guys. I don't require Docker repository here. Should work. Perfect. So now these are the private IP address and currently I don't have internet connectivity. That's why once I run the yum update command or yum install, it search for the Docker repository. Now, cd where wwhtml make the index file and hi this is web server hyphen zero two web page okay let me save and quit and do not forget to restart the services or make it permanent on perfect go back i am back on my master machine so now all set done let's move to the next step which is configure ha proxy logs in the Linux. Now you need to configure the HA proxy log. This log is very very helpful in troubleshooting point of view in HA proxy or Linux server. So we need to open rsyslog.configuration file in the VIM editor and locate and uncomment few lines like modules and input line in this file. So let me open the etc rslog.rsys.log.configuration file. Let me set the line number, move to the line number. Uh, yeah, 30 and comment this one and 31. So 30, 31, I have uncommented. Now save and quit and do not forget to restart the services. Restart, say rslog.configuration file. Not services file, right? Now uh, we need to create a rslog configuration file for setting HA proxy log file location, right? So I'll make a file and this is the configuration file. You can create it under the slash etc rslog.d directory name ha proxy.conf and here i will just put up only two line ha proxy logging with facility local 12 and the priority is star means every 
kind of priority like it could be error emergency warning info critical anything i need to read it under the var log as a proxy dot log file save and quit and now restart the log services to load the changes so let me restart the services perfect now everything is done time to check so we can execute the curl command or we can go with the firefox web browser to access your httpd proxy log load balancer multiple times right so let me go with the curl command or let me go to the activity first go to the browser and i will hit it through 192.168.0.1 colon 9000 so just give me one second let it be on okay so just remove this this one say 192.168.0.1.0.1 call in 9000 press enter should work 9000 sorry type error yeah hi this is the web server 01 web page right let it be refresh okay or what I can do I can open new private window from here 192 168 same IP address same port see web server 2 so you can see that if I try to refresh from here it's move one by one on web 1 as well as on web 2 right even what I can do see web server 01 even I can check it from here also using curl command curl 192.168.0.1 my HA proxy server on port number 9000 see hi this is the web server 2 web page right and if I try to hit one more time see it's web server 01 web page so you can see that HA proxy is working successfully and rotating the service request between the two web servers in the round ribbon function right however you can see the HA proxy statics and logs under the var log HA proxy dot log file right so you can go with tell hyphen f where log h proxy dot log file see so now the logs files are there so if i try to refresh something let me go back here if i'm trying to refresh see 02 and log file is going to be increased as per the load is going to be updated right let me control c even uh, what you can do uh, you can also view the HA proxy integrated statics reports via your web browser so for this purpose what do you need to do you need to just modify the URL so URL will be HA proxy and proxy proxy question mark stats right so once I press enter see it asks for the username and password so remember I'll give the username and password here let me try to open my configuration file mm, what is the password user id password username is demo and the password is demo at the 8, 1, 2, 3. so let me demo and demo at the 8, 1, 2, 3. so once you press enter see statics reports of process id 30011 so you, here you can see that entire information right you can remove the a refresh now and we have we can generate csv report we can hide down servers in trees and we can generate the json report schema so twice up to us we can do a number of things are there all right if i go with the csv report let's see csv's entries are there so we can do that on the basis of the log also right so <clears throat> that's all about this uh, demo guys i hope this steps help you to set up as a proxy on the linux smoothly right and let me control there and here you can see that our final output curl 192.168.1 and similarly if I go with the 2.1.2.1 so it's moving one by one right so uh, that's all about this demo and uh, please do share your valuable feedback and comments on my described links and soon I will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for sharing stay safe and goodbye